G'day guys. Tonight I thought we'd discuss uh, virtual tabletop software, um, specifically focusing on software that's suitable uh, for use at the table, uh, not necessarily online. Um, for me, I, I had a number of requirements, and my main one was that I, I wanted to have a Dungeon Master um, screen open on my laptop, and I wanted to be able to control the output to another screen that the players would see. Um, generally, you know, you can do things like uh, Roll20, I found a way to uh, open up two versions of it, one as the GM, one as the player, and to connect, but um, it didn't really have the functionality that I was looking for natively, uh, and by that I mean, you know, the ability to um, expand the, the player screen to the full screen, um, I did find a workaround for that, but I, I didn't like it, um, so I kept looking for other tools. The tool I eventually came across is a map tool made by RP Tools. Um, it's basically a standalone Windows application uh, that I'm using um, and it meets all of my requirements. So let's go and have a look at that now. In front of me you can see I'm running map tools. Um, you can see it's designed uh, for use over a network. Um, that's not how I'm going to use it though, so I'll show you, show you what I do with it. So in front of me you've got the, the map section. I'm going to get rid of the chat window, I don't need it. Uh, got some tool options over here, but let's start by bringing in our map. So, if you watched my last video, you'll know that the map was created using Carpane Cartographer 3 uh, with the Dungeon Designer 3 add on. So, this is a map I've made, us, made myself. I'll load that in. I'm going to set the background colour to black, just because I prefer it that way. Uh, it makes it look better at the table, everything's darker. Um, got square cells uh, five feet away. And we load the map in. Alright, there we go. Um, just to show you what sort of stuff you can do with this, uh, we'll call this the grasslands map, and we'll create another map. All right. So just to show you that up at the top right there is a select map button and if you've loaded multiple maps in this is where you would go to change maps. So that could be a handy feature to know. But alright, we've got the map in the system. Um, and you know this would be my Dungeon Master screen so this isn't exactly what uh, my players would be seeing. So the first thing I do uh, once I've basically started up the application is actually start up another copy of the application. Alright, so now I've got I've got my player version over here, I've got my DM version over here. And let's just pretend these are on two different screens. And obviously if you're running multiple monitors, you just drag that one off to the other screen and you're good to go. But for the sake of this video I'm going to do it on the same monitor. On the uh, the client DM side click file and start server. You can see I've already got that going so we'll just disconnect and click start again. Uh, put in a username, you can put passwords in if you want, select whether you're a GM or player, I'm a GM, um, and basically just pretty, press OK. Alright, so that's, be that's begun. Over here on the client side we go file and connect to server. Because um, I'm on the same computer, you can use the direct option. If you're playing on a LAN, you'd use the LAN option. Playing over the net, you'd use this option. Uh, but direct, um, I'll put my name in. doesn't matter. I'm not going to be using it, so I'll just go straight to it. Alright, you can see the map is loaded. And I can now move these manually around. Alright, but let's say that, you know, this was off on my projector, um, which is a lot harder to sort of interact with, and I wanted to enforce my player's view. So, if I wanted to change maps, all right, see if, well, actually, if I turn that on, say I changed map, and I wanted to force my chain, my players to see that map, I can go to tools, uh, enforce players to current map. There we go. If my players had the wrong view, I could center players on current view. So whatever I do here, I can control. 
on the tools is a continuous option. Now that's really cool because you can move on your DM screen on your laptop and anything you do will happen on the player side. I don't generally use that and the reason being, um, if we turn this off, on the player screen I've got to size it right. So scroll in, scroll out, get the sizing right for your five feet squares so that your minis sit on one square um, and you want to keep it at that size. So I find it's important not to have it because I like to scroll in, scroll out, work my way around the map while I'm, I'm doing my thing. Alright, now by default, you don't want your player to see everything. So what we do is we go up to map and we enable fog a wall. Alright, now you can see, I can see as the DM everything, they can't see a thing. So using the fog option, uh, you've got some different draw tools. There's a rectangle there. And you can basically draw a square and boom, now your players can see that bit. Make sure you don't draw out too much. Like you can just see that S from the secret door there, so you know you want to be a bit precise in some situations. You probably don't even want to show them that much. So you can see the colouring indicates that there's a wall there. Alright, so now they can see that. Uh, if they moved up, they'll be able to see this bit here. Uh, what I'm doing is holding shift to hide, not holding shift to show the room. So, not holding shift, draw a square, shows it. Holding shift, draw a square, hides it. So, pretty simple. As your players move around, you just unblock things. And that's how I do it. That's how hard it is. All right, I've got this one on my projector. I've got this one on my DM screen. Very quick, very efficient for me to manage uh, what my players can see. There is another way though, so we'll touch on that just to show you guys uh, what can be achieved. Uh, now, I, I don't play this way, so hold with me. I'm gonna put a token in. I'm gonna make it an NPC token. I'm going to call it line of sight. It's visible to my players. Click OK. Alright, now I've got that here. What I want to do is going to edit that. I'm going to configure it needs sight. It's got normal sight. Make sure that's set. It's visible to players. Snapstick grid. Alright. Then we're going to go in and we're going to give it a light source. So go Right click on it, go light source, D20, I'm going to give it a hooded lantern. Alright, now come into map and go vision, night. Alright, and you can see it's now got this big thing around it. Alright, you can see the players can't actually see anything at this stage. Alright, you can see if I turn the fog of war off, they can see everything. So we'll turn the fog of war back on. I'll come back here and I'll draw that out. So I've removed the fog of war from the section that is playing. Now, for the sake of this, let's have a look here. All right. What I've done is I've gone over to this tool set here called vision blocking. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a massive vision blocking box over everything. Then I'm going to hold shift and I cut out the bits that the player should actually be able to see. Alright, we can use the other drawing tools to make shapes that are a bit more interesting. Uh, sorry, I forgot to hold shift while I did that, so we'll do that again. Alright, and then what we can do is we can come here and use the drawing tool. I think that was the drawing tool. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't like it. 
So what I'll use, I'll use this tool again. Um, click, sorry, click, right click. We got to hold shift again. <laughs> yep, I do it all the time. All right, you see that cuts it out. Notice how I've left a section here that is blocking the secret passageway. You'll understand the need for that soon. All right, and what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to put in some extra sections on these big pillars. All right. Now for this to truly shine, we need some enemies. So I'll be a troll in the bedroom. Troll in the dining room. I'll put another troll there in there, hiding behind. Ooh. Hiding behind the pillar. All right. So, in this scenario, and obviously keeping in mind that I'm playing at the table, which is why I don't like this, you move the icon around as your players move. And the line of sight updates to show you what the player can see. Now, when I'm using miniatures at the table, there's little to no point of doing this, which is why I don't do it. But, if you're playing, you know, virtually, or maybe all tokens, you could definitely do this, and you could set it up so the players could only actually see what they can see. Alright, you can see once they go through the secret door, you can see a lot further. Uh, at this stage, he's still pretty well hidden, and then boom, you're into combat. So is it, it is an option, but as I said, I don't use it. I just prefer to use Fog of War. Um, it is a lot simpler, uh, in my opinion, to use Fog of War, and just to mark out what your players can see and what they can't. It does require a bit of fiddliness, like obviously you, you know, make sure you hide things like that when you're doing it, but uh, yeah, look, that that's really as hard as it is. Um, the only things to probably take note of if you're going to be making your maps is you can control a grid um, with this map, uh, with this tool. Alright, there is a grid there. You can adjust the grid, so if we focus on my screen, uh, adjust grid, alright, we can make the grid smaller, make it larger, until we get it right. Um, I probably would just disable the grid and put it on my map and try to make my map so it stands out a bit more. I'll play around with that. But uh, yeah, that, that's basically how I display um, maps at my table. As you can see, it's quite an easy piece of software to set up and use. Uh, it's free, which is you know even better. Um, and you know it, it achieves all of my requirements. And you know that is that I'm, I'm working on my DM screen, dealing with my line of sight, but I can move things around on this side uh, to do everything else that I need them to do. I really appreciate that. Um, don't know about you guys, but uh, I think it's a lot easier. Just to leave this. Um, and because obviously I'm playing at a real table with real miniatures, um, this is all I need. So check it out if you are looking for a virtual tabletop solution. Um, see if it does meet your requirements as well. Um, this has been uh, Map Tool brought to you by RP Tools. Thanks, guys.